Well, here we are. We're sitting on the banks of the Murray River again, but this time we've moved further along and we're at Swan Hill. We've actually paid to go into a, a big four caravan park, our first big four caravan park ever. It's quite expensive, $59 a night, extra $9 if you want to be uh, along the river, but we thought it was worth it. And we really picked here because it's nearly 40 degrees today. We wanted the air conditioning. We thought we might as well pick the one closest to town where we wouldn't have to unhook or go, get in and out the car. So this park will allow us to walk along to the Pioneer Settlement, which is a big draw card here and I'm really interested in. And we can also just walk across the railway line and we're in the centre of town and have a look. Good days. Be warned, try not to camp next to people that feed the ducks and the birds because they just hang around and they get quite aggressive if you don't give them what you want. Well, we've had a relaxing day sitting by the river. We've been swimming in the pool, which is just gorgeous, I must say, and easy access. And we've decided to cook up here in the camp kitchen. Because he gets to watch a big TV and he can change the channels and everything. And it's pretty nice, like the barbecues are spotless. And there's hot water there and they even supply the washing up detergent. So we thought, why not? That's fine. And our plan is to jump in the pool in between, yeah? Do a few laps. Yeah. About 35, 36 it got to. But yeah. Otherwise we would have stayed at a free camp somewhere. We couldn't find one close by. Plus it's just way too hot. So. No, there's none near Swan Hill Town. There's four caravan parks. One has terrible reviews. The other three are okay. And we just thought if we're going to pay, we might as well be one where we're walking distance to town and to the Pioneer Park. We're doing one of John's favourite things, not going to the tourist attraction. Last night we came to the heart of the Murray. It's a light show on the actual Murray River. And it was impressive, wasn't it? You have to admit. Yeah, right. It was good. It was good. It was all done to lights and water jets and lasers. And it was just really worth it if you're here. I've never seen anything like it. that wallpaper they're peeling off five layers they say
Well, we have been here at the Pioneer Settlement for hours. Literally, we still haven't finished it, have we? There's so much, and it's so well presented. Everything is done really nicely. We've just come into the older part. Well, when I say older, like the buildings that are older, etc. We saw a beautiful church and a Masonic center. There's a blacksmith. There's shops that you can shop in. And it's just really pretty. And the one thing I do like, I, a chicken was fine when we went there, but it was very commercial. When you pay your money to get in here, uh, riding an old vintage car and a horse ride um, is all included. So that was really nice. And we've spoken to so many of the staff, they're all really friendly. And they say that they're all, most of them are on volunteers and they're just happy to be here and help out. But the maintenance in this place must be huge. This place is set up pretty okay, I think, because on one side of the railway tracks is the river and it's peaceful and there's beautiful parks, amazing places for children to play. And for people to sit and fish, there's this big wharf area that's just incredible. And then you walk over the railway line and it's the hustle and bustle of the town. I just love walking along here. We ended up, I stopped at the old bridge, not because I had to, but because we had places to go. We're off to another campsite. The bridge must be so old because it's really only one lane. The Corellas, of course, played silly buggers along the Murray River. I think they own the Murray River. It was just gorgeous to watch and I really enjoyed it. This is it, we're leaving this beautiful campsite. So we're all packed up and I think we're going to leave the Murray now and head southwards. Well, we've been driving on a little tiny road where it's not wide enough for traffic coming two ways. And we've come to Birchip and look, we've come to see Big Red, the Mallee Bull. And then John spotted the bakery over there has the great it's won, Australian. It's won first prize in the little slice for many years. So I think we'll have to go try one. Yeah, <laughs> but here's the Mallee Bull. We just had to have a look. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Definitely a bull. <laughs> well, this vanilla slice from Birchip Bakery, which has won the best vanilla slice in that six times, including last year, pretty damn good, I tell you. I've had some good ones, but this is this is good. <laughs> this is really, really good. Really good. Oh, good coffee and a good vanilla slice. Back to driving on John's favourite surface, not. We're heading still southwards. I think we'll end up joining the Great Ocean Road, but I'm not quite sure where. As usual, we have no plans. Until next time, I'll see you on the other side. I just had some chocolates, I did. It reminds me of a joke. What joke? Well, what's Forrest Gump's pin? What do you mean, what? Well, Forrest Gump's pin? His pin for his, his key card. What do you mean? I don't know, what is it? One Forrest One. What? One Forrest One. Haha, <laughs> funny ass. Huh?